else. They're just, uh, well, this is what happens at a, at, a, the technology. at a press conference. <laughs> yeah, they're just trying to get uh, uh, a microphone sorted here. But look, they're obviously giving us an update. We've Thank you, seen Commissioner. This. So over the we'll last 48 to 72 hours, we've had heavy rainfall in the region with in excess of 180 millimetres falling across a broad area and um, intensive rainfall of in excess of 300 millimetres in localised areas. As a consequence of this rainfall, we've seen flash flooding and the onset of riverine flooding in the last 24 hours. We have advice from the Bureau that the weather system will continue to impact the region for the next 24 to 48 hours with further heavy rainfall and a possibility of very strong winds along the coastline. We're asking people to remain vigilant for this period of time and to remain well away from flooded causeways or rivers in the area. Furthermore, we wanted to say that we've got in excess of 120 volunteers who are on the ground ready to assist the community uh, as the, the weather system continues to affect us. So in the event that you do, do need assistance, uh, please dial 132500 or triple zero if you find yourself in a life-threatening situation. I'd like to reiterate what Commissioner Dent has said earlier on, that we are very proud of our volunteers. They worked excessively hard and also the fact that we're very pleased with the community's response and their ability to take care of you know, their own safety and, and, as I say, no flood rescues in the recent area. Thank you very much. I'll take some questions. Are you concerned at all then when you have a situation like this where everyone was bracing themselves for a big event yesterday and it didn't quite eventuate that people might become complacent even though this isn't over? Um, there's always a, a problem that, you know, or a possibility that people will become complacent in this scenario, but the weather system hasn't actually left our area, so we need people, as I say, to remain vigilant um, and work with us to make sure that they're safe. What about the wind aspect of this? Everyone's uh, worried about flooding, but it seems like I know there's a gale warning uh, now current for the Byron Coast. That's correct. The Bureau has indicated that we're likely to see wind uh, in gusts in the vicinity of 65 kilometres an hour and possibly up to 100 kilometres an hour at any stage during the next few days. What sort of dangers does that pose? Oh, obviously tree damage, storm damage for people. Along the coastline there's a, a high possibility that we'll see some coastal erosion with those onshore winds and there's a high surf as well, a very dangerous surf, so people need And we seem to have lost that press conference from the New South Wales SES, but they were speaking about the re emergency response in northern New South Wales. So far, there's been rain in excess of 180 millimetres with 300 millimetres in some local areas. Now, there has been flash flooding in the last 24 hours, and this weather system is expected to continue to impact the region for the next 28, 24 rather, to 48 hours, and authority, authorities reminding people to remain vigilant. Well, let's now take a look at the weather for the rest of the country. Let's take a look at the...